Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Amelia and in today's video I thought I would just do like a quick sort of review. I've got a new, um, quite a few new things just right here in front of me um, and I just kind of feel like putting on makeup so yeah that's pretty much it. So I just did get a brand new lens so hopefully that works out for me and that doesn't go out of focus too many times. So please forgive my hair beautiful hair and my beautiful robe but I thought I would balance it out with some nice new earrings that I got from what are they called Sony Sony Saver so oh no um so I got these from Sony Saver Sabor uh with my sister's 10% code and uh, I think it's still current so if you're interested in any of their stuff I'll link her code down before down below and also the link and shit if I work that out. <laughs> so um, it's my last day here um, at home tomorrow. I've got to head back to work for nearly two weeks. So uh, I haven't done a video a week. I've been really unmotivated and lazy as fuck, unfortunately. So it's my last day. I usually do nothing on my last day, let alone a video or anything like that because I'm usually depressed as fuck. Not really, I'm just dramatic. But um, I just... Got a package today from from Sephora that should have been here like when I got home. So finally got here, but because it was a long weekend, it just took a while. So that's all right. Anyway, so I thought I would show you a few different things. I was actually surprised at what came in. Like it's funny. Like these products that I bought from Sephora was basically because I was influenced by someone on YouTube, and then when I got them, I was like, I wasn't all that impressed. <laughs> Basically. So as we go along, I will definitely show you them and I thought one of the things as well that I got was a concealer So I thought that I would do a side-by-side -side comparison um, With one of my favorites. So I figured I'll just make a video pretty simple stuff I just feel like putting on makeup and playing around with some new stuff. So yeah, um, but I'll, actually what I'll do is I'll quickly show you some stuff what I actually got uh, So I got what I need when it comes to brushes is blending brushes I can't get enough when I am sitting here doing makeup. I tend to use heaps of brushes because I can't quite figure out what I'm doing with a look or whatever and um, I always always um, use a lot of dark shades so I figure well I need clean brushes and I don't clean during a video or anything during makeup just no um, so I just always need more blending brushes so I went on and got some Morphe brushes and they're not too bad but there was a couple actually I'll just show you they're actually right this one here I didn't realize that this was so big so I've got two of these, the other one's black bristle, bristles and they're really big but I don't mind it because when I want to do a transition shade um, and uh, I don't know, it's kind of fits through the whole crease if I want the transition shade to hit my brow and the last few looks I have wanted that so it's been fine. But I did get a set from Sigma whilst I was at work, I ordered it and um, I basically, when it came I was like, did I? is this what I chose out of all the sets that Sigma have so I'm a little bit confused I'm like did I choose this this is the nightlife set so this is nightlife by Camilla Colo Colo I don't know um, and so you take this out in your purse for touch-ups I guess a nightlife set I'm guessing for when you go clubbing and I'm like this is the last thing that I need this blender brush good I need this to get right into the crease to deepen up the crease that's fine I don't need this. What is this? Highlighter brush. I don't need this. This, because I have two of these, is like a highlighter brush to me. This, what is this actually? It's just an M5110, but one, zero. Um, but yeah, and then I've got this. I've got one similar that's fatter that I'm like, I don't even use that anyway. And then I've got this, a black, like, flat brush, and I'm like, I've got plenty of those. And then this, this actually feels so good. I'm like, is this synthetic? Like as far as I know, all Sigma brushes are cruelty free, so they're all synthetic brushes, but this feels so soft to be synthetic, so I'm like, what the hell, but that's the softest brush I've ever felt in my life. So very nice, and stuff, but I'm like, I just need blending brushes, so what the hell. So yeah, but they, I have to say they are very good quality compared to like Morphe. Morphe is obviously extremely cheap, um, well, affordable sounds nicer. And they're good brushes because I just feel like with Morphe, they might be cheaper material, like, you know, but they are all like for makeup artists, you know, like they're, the way they're shaped and stuff, they're proper brushes. Like 
like they're actually helping apply the makeup and they're, I don't know, there's just how to say it, but they're just like properly created, like, you know, I don't know. But these are nice, but I'm just like, did I really order these ones? Like, if I'm gonna buy a brush from Sigma that's gonna cost me an arm and a leg for shipping, I'm gonna get a brush set. And this is the last one that, so I, that I would get, so I, I don't know, but they are nice. So that is one of the things that I got that was waiting for me when I came home, along with these ones. And then finally my Sephora order came through. So when I was watching, um, well, Chloe Murillo went to an Ariel masterclass and as she, when she was there, she was tweeting out um, tips and stuff. It was wicked. Like, I just love that shit. Just any, any tips and trips, tip, tri any trips, oh my god, any tips and tricks to help with the makeup and to make it look less cakey. I'm just like getting so much cakiness with my foundation and I'm really hating it. And yeah, I don't know, I just, and it goes around my like cakiness when I smile and I hate that look. And I always wore light makeup and it's only recently, like maybe the last two years, when I discovered sort of beauty blenders, and I just smash it on. Smash it on and then let the beauty blender do its job, but it's just too much. And um, I think it's just purely because of when I watch YouTube, they smash it on. And in the videos, it looks good. And I'm just like, I thought I smashed it on, but I don't smash it on as quite as much because I've got this pigmentation up here that always seems to come through my foundation anyway. So I'm like, I understand it's like cakey, but it's not, it's not, it's not even full coverage, like pull, proper full coverage. So I'm just over this cakiness. So there's tips and tricks out there that makes it look less cakey. I'm into it. So one of the tricks or tips that he had was to lightly layer, layer his powders or like add, when he adds powders a um, uh, little at a time or something and um, he puts a little puts foundation around the outside a light layer and then focuses concealer in the center light layers and then building light layers rather than smashing it all on and all that sort of stuff. So all that was very good, but he used the It's Cosmetics brush. And what kind of brush is this? Heavily Luxe Complexion Perfection, number seven. So this was the thing that was going around, like that was supposedly amazing. So this was $68 that I got from Sephora. So $68, so it must have been Australian if it was Sephora, because it was the Australian Sephora. $68 for this brush. And um, I'm just so shocked at how light it is. Obviously, as a makeup brush, you don't want it to be too heavy, but say, for example, these Sigma brushes. And these weren't cheap either, but this is heavy. You know, this has got quality to it. There's no way these bristles are coming out unless it's a faulty brush. Do you know what I mean? Whereas this, I did see a stray, a stray one. I don't know. Whereas the Morphe ones have plenty of stray ones, but they're cheap. So you get that. But I'm just so shocked at how cheap feeling and focus how cheap feeling this this is so far out like compared to the softness of this one like unless this really isn't synthetic i need to check that straight away the only good feeling about it is this middle part here it's like really soft and that sort of luxurious but very bizarre isn't it Anyway, so next up I, I bought um, the Kat Von D uh, Locket Concealer Brush. I think this is the Locket Concealer Brush, but I've seen it used as a contour brush for your nose. So that's what I got, purely because someone, I don't know, yeah, I'm addicted to buying shit at the moment. But I don't know how much this was because I, I had the receipt in the package, but it doesn't say the pricing, so I don't know what, why that, that is. But anyway, so yeah, so I've got that. I'll give that a try. You know, that's definitely synthetic because that's Kat Von D stuff. And then lastly, I got a new concealer because I go through concealer like nothing else. So I thought that I would try the Tarte Rainforest, uh, Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer. So this is in light. This is 10 mils. So again, this, I don't know how much this was because the pricing wasn't on my docket. And I could look in my emails, but but it's very pretty, very, very pretty. But it's just funny when I got this through, because I thought this was going to be a massive pot. When you see pictures, like I didn't, I, you know, I didn't look at the mills and stuff. It's just funny 
where you get it and you're like, holy shit, it's tiny, 10 mils. But that's cool, let's just have a look. What kind of applicator? Okay, so it's like a massive dirt foot. That's cool. Anyway, so sorry that took ages, my little intro. I just wanted to, well, 11 minutes in, shit. Sorry, I just, you know, sometimes feel like ranting and raving. So if you want to skip, I'll put I'll put timestamps in, so I um I'll I'll make it shorter. But um yeah yeah yeah. So that will be interesting. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I will quickly smash on my base. I think what I wanted to do is I wanted to I wanted to do my makeup um, the way that Ariel had done it because I did see a few um, Shane Mitchell videos with him in it. Show me sure the actress, and it was quite interesting tips and stuff. It's just fascinating to me. Um, yeah, so actually, without further ado, let's get on with it because it's getting so hot in here. Like this room, by the end of it, I'm fucked. I have to say, I am so dehydrated because the aircon does not work in this room, it's so annoying. And I'm wearing a robe, obviously, that's stupid, but that's just me. so basically. Another thing, tip that I learned is that because I just started using primers and serums, applying them with my fingers, I used, to, every, I used to use everything with a brush and then I was like, be good to get back to the old fingers because that's how I used to do when I was younger with everything. I used to put on foundation with my fingers and then all of a sudden it was like brushes, you know, and I suppose brushes came in because of makeup artists use brushes, not their fingers, they're going to use their fingers to put on makeup on their clients, you know, so it just comes from that, doesn't it? Whereas when you're just doing makeup every day on yourself, you don't need all this fancy shit, isn't it just a crock of shit? But anyway, I do it because I love it. I'm obsessed with makeup and brushes and shit like that. So without further ado, let's get on with it. I do want to share some things that I learned. I'm just like going on about shit. What I'm trying to say is, before I blabbed on, was that I read somewhere that when you use your fingers, it's like micro, um, micro, micro, um, micro exfoliation. So if you apply all your serums and your fat primers and possibly your foundation as well, you'll get bead, um, your serums and your primer will bead up. And I have had that before. So I was like, okay, no more pants. I'm not, and um, what's his name? Ariel likes to use this to apply. Because the way that he applied it, because it, it seems like so fluffy. Now, I think he's used his so many times that it has fluffed right out. Mine is new, so it's all like quite dense and pert, if you know what I mean. So, um, yes. So, yeah. So, anyway, let's just crack on. No, let's not crack on. Let's just get on with it. I'm going to use my Napoleon Purtis Autopilot um, Complex Skin Renewal Serum. So like pretty much a whole bottle that I just leave in the corner up there as sh on show, but I'm actually going to use it because it's expensive as shit. And yeah, um, so I believe I'm going to use two pumps because now that I'm using a brush, it's going to soak up most of it anyway. And um, we're just going to lightly, lightly brush that over the skin because that's how he does it, very lightly. You don't want to disturb the skin too much, I guess, is the thing. Um, so for my primer, this is the Mecca Cosmetica Multi-Purpose Plumping Balm. So this one uh, is upside down. <laughs> so this one is good because apparently you can use it as a mask. I have not done that. I've only just used it as a primer. But I mean, at the same time, it is on my face, so it's kind of a mask. So, I mean, that sounds pretty good. Have I really noticed a difference in my face? I never really, it's really hard for me to notice much of a difference when it comes to trying new products, um, like skin products, because I feel like without tooting my own horn, that my skin is quite good. Ever since I gave up dairy, my skin has just never looked better. I don't know, it doesn't look very good right now, which is the friggin' lighting just being really harsh, I believe. But yeah, it's not too bad at the moment, I have to say. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put on my foundation and uh, usually I work for that to dry a little bit more, but oh, let's, actually, you know what? I'm gonna pop on my my base on my lip. My God, just my brain is just like there's just so much going on in there that I just can't think of the actual thing that's going on presently. 
So Life Proof Cream Concealer, Mega Max, I'm going to pop that on my eyelids as a primer. There you go. So we're going to just stop there and then I'm going to use my locket because um, it is concealer but it looks like it's too harsh to be a concealer brush. Uh, I would definitely use it as a contour brush for my nose but we'll see. Well, I'm just going to do this for now. Just for the sake of using something that's new. <laughs> and then I'm just going to use my Strauss Fresh and Flawless Press Powder just to set that. I have to say, this brush has made that concealer go on so nicely. Like, who would have thought? I mean, it's just a brush. It's just crazy how different things work. I have to say, that's just gone on so nicely with my other brush that I use. I think it was that big Morphe brush that I first showed you. Um, showed you um, it just takes away a lot of the concealer and I have to say when I use that Morphe brush I put on way more concealer on my eyes so it's weird it's good okay okay good so let's just quickly smash on some foundation I'm going to just use my Born This Way uh, Warm Nude I do have a tan on but it's quite light at the minute so I'm just going to like quickly pop this on because the main event is the concealer. Okay, so that will do. That's like medium coverage. I don't mind that. I have to say, in this monitor, I look like death. I look like a witch. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, what was I going to say? Um, so like I said before, with Ariel, Ariel, he said, she said that he likes to put on the foundation very lightly on the outsides and do the concealer on the inside. I have to say, with the Kardashian look, how they have the, the white, really bright under eyes, but it goes right down, and that is a very popular look, but I have to say, I'm not really a fan. I just feel like it's too much, uh, and it's so unnatural looking. I don't know, I really, really, really used to like it, but now I just kind of, kind of stick to this sort of area, not really drag it all the way down. I don't know, you just get over shit, you know. So I'm going to do concealer now. And on one side, let's go to the right side. I'm going to use my favourite uh, Life Proof Cream Concealer Mega Max. This is an Ivory 2.5. So this is quite light. And what I've noticed is that you don't really need to do much. You just need to blend it in with your finger and it does the job. It does the job. So that's what I'm going to try with that. And then if I've put too much on, I always just get up, grab my beauty blender and blend the rest away. But I find that it just really just goes on so easily. Oh God, look at that, it's gone. Done. Done. It's not full coverage. You can make it full coverage, especially if you add your powders and whatnot. But how full coverage do you want to be? So next up, we've got the Tarte Rainforest, bloody Rainforest of the Sea. This is just in light, so I don't know if it's going to be too light or what. Wow. That smells like nail polish remover. Isn't that so funny how something could smell so strong, and yet this is supposed to be like proper organic shit. That's why I like Tarte, it's supposed to be organic. But then, what do I know about stuff like that? Stuff that smells like nail varnish is organic sometimes. It's so weird. Okay, so this straight out looks like the wrong undertone. Pink undertones literally make me look dead. So this is a bit shit. <laughs> but how are you to know what to get if you're getting it online and not testing it out? It's so annoying. For a lot of stuff when you're in Australia, that's the... That is the thing, because a lot of shit is not here in Australia. Unless you're in Sydney. In Perth, we don't have a Sephora. We've got a Mega Cosmetica, which is awesome. It's not too bad. But it's definitely... It's not brightening. Like, this is brightening. But like I said, I'm kind of over the brightening. I want things just to look like my foundation. Like, um... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I could use this the way that um, Ariel does. 
the way he just uses a whole bunch through the centre and just uses furnishing through the outside. But this is so bright, it would look weird. I mean, I know when you put bronzes and your highlight on and your, on everything on after, it looks fine, but yeah. I have to say, in the mirror just here, I like this side. It just blends in with everything. Hmm. Very, very good. Oh, I'm just jabbering on so much in this video. I'm going to have to cut it right back. Yeah. Hmm. Not too bad. We'll see how it goes, how it wears on. Um, how the day goes on because sometimes when I have the undertone it doesn't look too bad initially but certainly after a while it starts to look like oh you look dead um, so what I'll do is I think I'll just do the rest of my makeup possibly yes should I? I, I feel like this video has gone way too long you know what I'll put time stamps in you'll be alright so for eyes Look at this ripper. Loving this at the moment. It smells and tastes delicious. Literally. Watch this. It's a good time to go blue. That is so insane. Like that I'm actually doing this but. It tastes amazing. I'm gonna die. Like, wow. How do they do that? Yeah, I must go. That is amazing. Alright, let's get on with it because this is getting weird. So, I'm gonna go on with my Morphe friggin' thing. So, this is the Morphe M510. Actually, you know what? I'll use the black one just because I'm gonna wreck that one by using all the colors. I might just use that as a highlighter. So, this is the Morphe 510. 501, this one here, quite big. So I've been using this just as a transition, so I'm just gonna go on with So Bougie. Right here. I'm gonna stick that all through my crease, quite roughly, nothing too fancy. So yeah, I've been using this big brush, and it's kinda good. Just gets the job done really quick. And it blends it out really nicely. Loving it. Okay, and then I'm going to go into Cocoa Truffle. It's a dark and matte shade. These two are both matte, so the So Bougie was matte, and then this one, this dark chocolate one, dark brown one, Cocoa Truffle is also matte. So I'm just taking that dark colour just on the outer corner, just roughly, so just rough, sort of a crack on, crack on sort of a shade. Have to say the lens, new lens that I've got. It is good at focusing, like it focuses really quick, but it makes quite a noise. So I hope that doesn't transfer onto the actual video. But you know, that's going to be annoying. I'm just taking this um, Sigma Nightlife by Camilla. Cola. Cola, sorry. I don't know how to read that. Blending A25. So I'm just taking that one. It's a nice little blending brush. And I'm just going to take that Cocoa Truffle. One that I just used, I'm just taking on a small one just to get more into the crease. And I'm using a light hand. That's the thing as well with the, the, the Ariel show, is using a really light hand. And I have to say that has been working so very well for me. Um, I find that with my shadows, even on really good palettes, I can get really like muddy results just by sticking my brush right into my crease, digging in it, wah, 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 gets muddy and it sticks. It won't blend out. It sticks there, it sticks to your eyelid and it won't move. And it's so annoying and it looks gross. And uh, yeah, by lightly blending and building up the colors in your eyeshadow, that's how you get a really good blend. What I might do is um, a thing that I did the other day, which was kind of random, and I'm blurry. Um, I just took a little bit of the, the shimmer, whatever color it was, I think it was a pink one, and we're focusing, are we focused? We're going to focus. I took this one here and I grabbed it on the same blending brush and I just very lightly took it all through the crease, very light hand, like barely touching, slowly adding pressure and just evenly distributing through my crease just to give it that like slight hue of colour. Changes the game a little bit. 
But that was a psycho smile. I look like a psycho today. Why? Um, so with all these shades, I, I'm not going to use like a lot of it because obviously it's a statement look with whatever you choose on your eyelid ball right there. But I want to use it in other ways too. I want to be able to use it for my crease. And I thought, oh, I just wish they weren't all so shimmery. Obviously, that's the look of this palette, is to create those nice, bold looks with the pop of Oh, so we did automatically stop recording, but that's fine. So it's basically the camera's way of saying, tell me to shut up. But, so I'm just taking the same brush, doing the other eye, just very, very lightly. Um, so what I might do in the middle, I feel like I can't be bothered with the middle. I feel like I just want to leave it, but I can't, can I? Actually, maybe I can. Maybe I'll just put So Bougie. I'll smoke it out with just So Bougie, just a really nice, nice light colour. And you know what we'll do? We'll use a brush that I said that I was going to use. <laughs> so this is the Eye Shading E55 by the Sigma, that nightlife thing that I got. And um, I'm just going to grab a fair old amount and just stick it right there. And we'll just keep it nice and neutral. And fresh and clean and blah 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 yeah that'll do that looks good can't leave it blank I suppose obviously what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this it cosmetic bloody brush and I might go in with a nice light colour for the inner eye pop maybe rich girl I'll just go rich girl so that's just this one right here very pigmented as you would know Imagine. So we're going to go with that one. It's got my saliva all over it. That's a lot. And I just always smash it right on rather than being nice and delicate. Because I like that look. I like it. Brightens the shit up. So I haven't set that concealer. It's not creasing too much. It's not too bad. I should do like a. I, I don't really know how to zoom in. I'm going to be honest. Things used to be easier, now all of a sudden, they're not. But I'll move the camera in closer. <laughs> Can you see? So it's creasing a little bit, like this one always creases obviously before I set it. This isn't that big deep crease right there, right under the oval. It's nothing new, but I like how it's melting into the rest of my foundation. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to go back in with So Bougie and I'm going to take that under my eyeballs, hopefully I'm still in the shot. And then what I thought I would do is I would use a nice, this colour underneath my eye. So I don't usually use a lot of dark shades under my eye, I feel that really drags my eye down, I just can't get away with that look, I always have to keep it quite fresh. Um, like as you can see it's already dragging my eye down even with that light transition shade so it's a bit of a tricky one but I like that look so much are we gonna stop doing that um, I like that look so much I just feel like as well like this green is so vibrant but under my eye it looks kind of muddy and dull like a swampy kind of look I've noticed that some people, especially Stacey Marie MUA, have taken on the minimal brow look. Loving it. Loving it so much. Because I hate big brows. I don't hate it. It's such a strong word, hate. But I don't know. I'm over it. Like, I think they stupid. <laughs> anyway, so. What next? It's so hot in here and I look like shit. Don't you hate it when you sit down and put on makeup and you're like really ready to look better and you're just like shit? Shit. Anyway, we'll put on mascara and that's what we'll do. We'll put on mascara, we'll make ourselves feel a bit better. Sweet ears. I'm so hot. Not in a good way. Yeah, I took off my robe, boy, all the bitch. Bitch! Anyway, so let's put on some bronzer before I die. Oh, I'm naked. Um, I'm just going to use my Too Faced bronzer, matte bronzer, their usual bronzer. 
Um, and I'm going to use this. I like this using this for bronzer. It that's for foundation. Morphe G7. I don't like using this to put on the foundation. It doesn't work for me. Alright. So I'm going to use it for bronzer. And I'm going to use this bloody thing for contour on my nose because I can't not contour my nose. So it's got a bit of concealer on it, but it's dried and it should be right by now. So I'm just going to angle it right like this and just because it does, it is angled. Like it's going to zoom up, zoom in. It's not going to, it's not going to focus. You're not going to focus. Come on, come on. This is what you're for. Focus, bitch. Come on. This focus on this. Okay, so it is angled, as you can see. So I'm gonna place it on here like this, like this. Close to the middle of my nose as possible. Kind of just go like this, maybe just drag it down. I just like to um, slender this as well, because the ball on my front nose is quite round and big. So I like to slim that right down. Just basically make a massive line, you know? Not a massive line, you know what I mean? Just don't, I don't like to shape my nose too much. I just sort of freaking create a tiny strip and that's what works for me. Yeah, I think that worked. Definitely not what I'm used to with this brush. I'm used to like a little kind of fluffy brush and I just roughly go about it and just sort of go like this. Exactly like that. Wow, this eyeshadow is just not for me, is it? It makes me look sad, like a real sad little bitch. Fuck. Not having much luck at all, am I? Oh my god. And this tan is so shit. It's a La Tan Deep Bronze. Are you gonna focus? I know you don't want to focus on this, but um, it's, and it's not, it's not up to my standard. No, it's, it's a bit of a shame. It's a damn shame. Sorry, now I've got to look for some lip product. Oh, yes. My mood has gone right down. Right down. Anyway, but we will put on a little bit of highlighter. So, I've got the very vegan highlighting powder. Yeah. That's good. I like this. I find that if I wet it with, um, what's we call it, Urban um, um, Decay or whatever, all nighter, um, it just sticks and it's very hard to move. So now I don't wet it. I feel like with this you don't really have to wet it. It still gives you the, it's still good enough pigment. Yeah, very glowy. Oh, that's quite nice. It does look a bit grey sometimes, but this is the best highlighter that I've come across. And I have a few. So let's just... Let's just stop there. In fact, I'll just put this on. This is from Primark. This was from a mate of mine, and it's Insta Girl Flash Photos. High shine gloss with blue pearls to bring out the white in your smile and volume in your palette. So I'm just going to stick this on, and um, I'm not feeling myself clearly. So, yeah, it's quite unfortunate. But um, the concealer looks good. So final thoughts. I I like it. I just think it's not the right undertone. It's not the right undertone, unfortunately. But I still like it. Looking in the mirror, it definitely looks like it's blending well, really good into my foundation. It's, there's not much of a difference. There's not like it doesn't look really white and stuff, which this does, which is fine. It's a look. Some days I don't want that really bright under eye look. But it just so happens that most of my concealers that I've purchased are very brightening. So I like it. it look, and even though it's really, really light, like it still blends in quite nice. And um, if you're thinking about getting this palette and you're not too sure, I I like it. I think the colours are very blendable. The matte shades here, even the black is very good when we focus. That would be awesome. Okay. Um, and you can even lightly put a few of these colours through your crease if you want to change it up a little bit. It's a good palette and it tastes and smells amazing. I don't know how they do that. I wouldn't suggest eating it too often. Probably not too good for you. But it does taste amazing. Like, it's insane. It's like when you have a 
you feel like eating sugary stuff, just have a swipe. Stick it on your tongue. You'll be right. <laughs> that rhymes. Anyway, moving right along. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, please give this a video. Please give it a like or a subscribe if you liked it. I will put some timestamps in this shit because fuck, it's a long as shit. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. I upload every Friday. Please um, put your notifications on so you are notified. Even though apparently that shit doesn't even work. And YouTube isn't notifying, notifying anybody. But uh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So I'll see you in the next video, I suppose. If you're going to be around. I'll be here. Wow, this actually makes my teeth look black. Does, did you see that? I don't know. Is that real? Is that a thing? Like, and I'm just like, mm, looks like I've been drinking wine. You know, they get that. Anyway, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in my next video.